Hi everyone, a couple of weeks ago we sent out our state election charter to all of the potential candidates in the upcoming state election. Um, all of the information that uh, we put together through there came from uh, members, came from our divisional uh, committees, um, and really an accumulation of a whole load of policies and, and recommendations to those prospective candidates to ensure that uh, when they're forming policies and forming their policy positions going into the election, they're actually mindful of all of the priorities that the industry wants. Um, yesterday we had the opportunity to have the Leader of the Opposition, Peter Malinouskas, and the Minister for Innovation and Skills, David Bassoni, address us on behalf of, of their prospective parties um, on what they'll do for the automotive industry. Um, I think it was a really good day. You'll hear a little bit more on video about what some of their messages are, but over the next couple of weeks we will be putting that information out to you um, to ensure that you can make informed decisions when you go to voting in the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks very much. Enjoy your weekend. See you next time. Terrific to be here at the MTA Industry Advisory Council meeting today talking about the Marshall Liberal Government's restoration of, the, of skills training and apprenticeships here in South Australia, turning around a 48% decline in the last year of the previous government to a 72% increase in the first three years of this government. Talking about the future of skills and the need for agility and new skills to be developed for the motor trades industry and many other new industries coming to South Australia. It's an exciting time in South Australia and a skilled workforce is critical for South Australia to move forward and continue to enjoy the lifestyle that we've enjoyed previously. Well, thank you to the NTA for their ongoing contribution to advocacy around an important employing industry in our state. The biggest constraint to growth in South Australia, as indeed is the case around the nation at the moment, of course, is access to well-trained people. Employers out there now are pulling out their hair at the fact that we have the highest unemployment rate in the nation here in South Australia, but they can't get access to people, which means the only long-term solution that ever makes a difference is, of course, policies around education, training and skills. And that's why I've got a comprehensive program going everywhere from three-year-old preschool right through to tertiary education and technical colleges in between to see more people, more young people, entering an important industry like yours to plug that skills gap.